Alrighty, well, welcome everyone to today's webinar uh, with 3C Logic and Observe AI. Great to have you all joining. I see a lot of folks filtering in, so really excited to see that. Today's topic is getting more out of customer calls, unlocking insights with voice, conversational AI and service now. Um, so welcome again. Uh, my name is Deanna Del Solar. I am part of the marketing and sales team here at 3C Logic, and I will be moderating today's webinar. So to start off, um, I'd like to introduce our guests for today. So we are joined by Rachel Brown, sentiment analysis specialist at 3C Logic. 3C Logic is the premier voice enabling solution that natively integrates with ServiceNow. So as a premier ServiceNow partner, the 3C Logic Cloud Contact Center platform natively complements ServiceNow's existing digital channels and workflows. We also have Alex Lustig with us, who is a solutions architect at Observe AI. Um, and Observe AI is, uh, uses contact center AI to transform customer experiences and improve agent performance by helping companies analyze 100% of their interactions. Um, so Observe AI brings the power of agent assistance, automatic speech recognition, and natural language processing to uh, modern contact centers. So a really great partnership between our two organizations um, and excited to have these two great experts with us today. So to start off our conversation, I just wanna take some time to really lay the groundwork of what we're talking about, what conversational AI and sentiment analysis really is, because the industry has definitely evolved a lot in recent years. So first and foremost, I want to make the case for voice. Now, if you are a contact center manager, you are well aware that voice is not going anywhere. Um, certainly digital channels and automation have helped to alleviate the call load that contact centers are experiencing, but at the end of the day, voice is still a critical part of the customer service value chain. Um, when a customer or an employee is really just struggling with an issue, they just want to talk to someone who can help them. Um, and so a phone call, as long as that contact center is using the right technology, can be the fastest path to resolutions for people who are really struggling with an issue. And this has become even more true in the last year and a half. The pandemic, of course, has limited people's ability to connect in person. And so digital channels have helped fill that void. But voice is really a premier way for people to still have a one-on-one -on -one interaction um, with a company. So um, still a really, really important part of customer interactions. And Observe AI actually recently conducted a study about the impact of the pandemic on the contact center and how that has changed things for folks and found that phone is still an extremely popular channel um, and that 83% of the customer experience is still happening by phone. So voice is definitely important. But with that, there's some challenges as well compared to digital channels voice, telephony, phone calls have a lot of dark data. Um, and what I mean by that is there is a lot of information that's happening on a phone interaction, but without technology it can be really difficult for a manager or for a contact center to understand what's actually happening on the phone. Um, so compared to a digital channel where you might have something in writing, you can search for keywords, telephony really has a lot of mystery about it. So it's really important to bring technology in to, to help shine some light there. So that's where speech analytics comes in. Um, now speech analytics is really great for recording calls, creating transcriptions and finding some of those keywords. So that really, helps uh, contact centers understand what's happening on those calls, which is fantastic, but it's also not enough. Um, in fact, less than 2% of recorded voice calls are actually analyzed by the average contact center. So it's fantastic that speech analytics can collect all of this data, but if managers don't have the time of day or the capacity or the ability or using a clunky system and they can't actually find out what that data has to say, it's, it really falls short, especially when we talk about enterprise organizations. So that's where we now have a shift in the industry from that tradi traditional speech analytics 
to conversational AI. So conversational AI is a more intelligent technology that is going to capture more meaningful aspects of a phone call. So uh, speech analytics is going to tell someone what happened on a phone call, what someone said, but conversational AI is going to incorporate sentiment, tone, and intent, and is going to tell a manager how someone said what they said. So it's really taking it a step further um, beyond so that managers can take that information and figure out how to actually coach their uh, agents and help to refine and, and spruce up that customer experience if necessary. Um, so with that background, um, I'm going to pass the baton over to Rachel to chat about common contact center challenges and where uh, conversational AI can come and, and resolve some of those problems. Thanks, Diana. So yeah, so there are some contact center challenges that we see today. So obviously one of the biggest ones is um, voice obviously not being integrated with a workflow platform like a service now. A lot of companies are leveraging um, those CRMs to drive awareness and proactive customer services. And if voice isn't in integrated, it becomes an issue. They're also hurting with the ability to scale large customer service operations. We see that more and more relevant today, um, more than ever. We also see that there's the limited ability to strategically apply agent training where needed. A lot of times uh, organizations in the past were relying on being in an office and you know sitting side by side with agents and listening to their calls. That's an extreme issue today with the new work from home model or a hybrid version of um, you know sometimes half the people being in the office or half the people um, being from home and how can you effectively really manage a remote team? So I'll pass this one to Alex to talk a little bit more about um, a little bit of our partnership here between where 3C Logic and Observe can really bridge that gap. Yeah, absolutely. So when it comes to the partnership and what we're able to do, essentially what we'll do at Observe is take this data this 2%, turn that into 100%. We're gonna take all those interactions, we're gonna put it all into a single user interface, and we're gonna make it really easy to work with. So you'll be able to not only analyze and evaluate this data, you're also gonna be able to now take this and use this to improve the agent performance and ultimately make them better. So what has traditionally been very manual, uh, very hard to scale, is now gonna be a lot easier to make sense of this data and then take action on it. Great. Awesome. So what I think we'll do is, you know, let's go right into the solution and see it in action. So what I will do is I am going to switch screens here and please let me know if you can still see my screen. Um, but what you should see is uh, a ServiceNow agent workspace. And uh, if one of the team members can just give me a thumbs up and make sure that we can see it. All right. Perfect. All right. So Obviously, uh, the best place to start is in service now, right, which is the, your single source of truth. And most organizations, as we had mentioned today, if they're already using a, a solution like service now, they understand the value of having an integrated telephony component to complement their existing digital channels. So what I'm going to just kind of um, quickly overview of what is what happens, you know, as a call comes in. Um, where the demo is going to come in is post-call where speech analytics and 3C logic and observe.ai come into play. So imagine uh, a customer or an employee, they want to call into your contact center. Obviously, they're going to go through an IVR workflow. They're going to get to an agent. The agent's going to answer through a CTI or a soft loan solution like you see here, which is um, today's example is 3C logic solution a conversation is had, and then all that data will post into ServiceNow. So what that looks like from the aspect is the call attributes will be there, including the call recording. So for most supervisors and QAs, this is where the issue lies, right? To understand the experience of that customer or employee and how it was, um, a supervisor would have to listen to this entire call recording which um, based off today's stats, there's only about 2% that actually gets reviewed. 
There's a couple different reasons for that. It's, it's a very manual process. It takes a lot of time. And to try to line that up with the agent's notes that are inside of a CRM like ServiceNow, it, it, it's a lot of time and effort that supervisors don't have. So that's really where speech analytics is going to come into play. We can help you automate that process to review 100% of those calls coming in or out. And just at a high level, before I go into the demonstration, um, what we'll do is we'll take those call recordings and all that metadata. Uh, It'll be transcribed into text. Then using a combination of keyword spotting and AI, um, we're able to identify points of interest based off of your own organization's KPIs. And what that does is it gives supervisors full visibility into what's happening inside your calls to hopefully find better ways to manage that customer experience, but then to also manage your agents a lot easier and provide that additional training where needed. All right, so let's show you how this would work. So I'm gonna play the role of a supervisor. Um, Say for instance, I wanna go in and look at a particular uh, case or incident. And for us, um, from a ServiceNow perspective, we really don't care what you're utilizing today. If you're using, you know, ITSM, CSM, HR, uh, you can be, speech analytics can be used in any one of those um, solutions within ServiceNow. But just for, as a quick example for face value, what we're going to do is look at a simple case. And um, this one is to order a new cell phone. So you can see here all the case details, who's calling in why they're calling in, um, who it was assigned to from an agent perspective, uh, what's the reason for them calling in and what the end result is. So if I'm a supervisor and I'm just looking at this for face value, this seems like an open and shut case. Someone's having issues with their cell phone, either their apps aren't loading or the battery keeps dying and they need to order a new one. But where speech analytics is going to come into play is if you take a look at the phone log that's associated with the case, now you can actually see all those call attributes that I reviewed earlier, but it's also taking it a step further and we're enriching service now with the transcription of the call and also the sentiment. So what this tells me as a supervisor right off the bat is that I have an issue because what seemingly looked like a simple case shows me that there were there was negative sentiment detected on the call and there was also um, an escalation. So now I've figured out in just a matter of moments here that there's a call that needs my attention and I need to see how it got to a boiling point and why. And that's where the observe.ai platform comes in and you can actually see that full audio and transcription all together on one screen. And Alex, I know this is your area of expertise, so I'll let you explain some of, of what we're showcasing on the screen right now. Absolutely. Thank you, Rachel. So, yeah, what you see here, everybody, is going to be that data that we are getting from 3C Logic. These are the calls, and this is what you're going to be able to do all from one screen. Right away, what you're going to see is this call visualized along the top, separated by agent and customer. And you'll see those points of interest or what we call moments within our platform that you are able to jump to. So this call is 11 minutes. Certainly not every second of that is going to be relevant. So what you're gonna be able to do is navigate to the important points that are totally customizable by you. These will actually be specific, not only to industry, but to every company that is able to make their own. Clicking to one is gonna bring you to the transcript, which is also separated by agent and customer. So what we're able to do is as we listen to this call, we can read along, we can understand what is happening. Now, again, just like Rachel said, we're looking at this through the lens of the QA or the supervisor. So their job is not only to understand this data, but now to take action on scoring this data. So what you're going to see at the top right is going to be that evaluation form button. When that's clicked, all the evaluation forms that are within the platform are going to show up here. Again, these are also 100% customizable. But now what you're going to be able to see very clearly is that evaluation form. And you can have those moments or points of interest that help you to score the evaluation form. So everything you need is going to be in one screen when it comes to understanding, analyzing, and now evaluating these interactions. And this is the real power of Observe tying in with 3C Logic. Now what we're able to do from here is take action on this data. What is the point of understanding 100% of interactions if we're not going to do something with it? And essentially what we're going to be able to do 
is understand and improve agent performance. And that's exactly what you see here. For this sample team, you'll see a list of all of our agents. We can see who has the best scores for their calls and who has the lowest. So what we're now gonna be able to do is target whatever business group we're interested in. Maybe it's going to be replicating those top agents. Maybe it's coaching the middle, something we see with a lot of clients together. Or maybe it's coaching those bottom agents because there are compliance breaches and failure to adhere to process, things like that. Whatever the use case is, you're gonna be able to target that from this. So what you're gonna be able to do is take all this data and use this to make the agents better. It's better for both sides. It's better for the agent who gets concrete and objective feedback for how to improve their performance, but it's better for the coach who can aggregate and leverage all of the data within the Observe AI platform in order to improve that agent performance. Absolutely. And, and that's great insight, Alex, and I appreciate that. And what's great about this is the way that you could tie it back to service now is that you can actually use this data in such a way to create um, alerts or tasks. So supervisors have actionable ways to better train and better coach their agents. So one of the things that you could, in, in theory, do is utilize some of uh, ServiceNow's existing um, functionality to actually create workflows around your agent performance. So if you um, look at my screen here, you can see that I'm in the ServiceNow flow designer and I'll showcase an example of what could be done by utilizing and enriching some of that data back into ServiceNow. So what you're seeing here is a workflow that was created and this workflow was created based off of negative moments that were detected and negative customer sentiment was seen on a call. And in this particular use case, we're doing it for, for VIPs. Now, every employee and every customer is very important, but this is just one example of a way that you can utilize some of ServiceNow's fields to really take that experience to the next level. And based off of this workflow, you can see that two actionable items are created. Um, one is to um, do an evaluation form of the agent who took the call and also conduct a coaching session with the agent that took a call. So what that looks like from a ServiceNow perspective is now my tasks are all in one inbox. So think about this. In a matter of minutes, um, you know, you've opened up your ServiceNow portal. You saw a call that came in that had a supervisor escalation. You were able to go directly to where that audio and see the transcript of what happened. And that's in a matter of minutes, right? And that's minutes that you do have versus manually listening to hours and hours of call recordings, which in today's point in case, a lot of you know supervisors don't have. So what we're trying to do here is to show you that um, you can put automation around where negative customer sentiment happens, right? So you can still listen to 100% of calls if you want. But if you just want to write a workflow about the really bad ones that you want to get to your attention, you know, and deserves your attention, you can. So um, in this simple case, you know, obviously you can go back and view that phone log again if you want. Um, you can see the transcription again. That's all available to you here. But I think the overall goal here is being in one platform is a, is a huge time saver and it's a huge benefit to your team. And it gives you that holistic view, right, of where you can see what calls are coming into your call center and, and be more efficient with your operational needs on a day-to-day -day basis. And having this data integrated with ServiceNow really um, would alleviate some of those headaches. So that actually brings me to a good point here. Some of the key takeaways that you can uh, talk about with a platform like uh, 3C Logic, Observe.ai, and service now. So, you know, obviously what you just saw here, you can set up the and trigger those automatic workflows based off of the sentiment of the call. And again, it gets directly to those calls that need your attention and deserve your attention and utilize a more proactive approach in your call center versus a reactive, right? Getting to the point of the fire before it, it blows up versus waiting till it blows up and getting to the aftermath. Another great uh, takeaway is that Again, it's, it's very easy to associate the call transcriptions with the customers, their calls, and their journey to see um, how their experience was and different ways you can improve it. 
you have improved visibility into the health of your contact center, right? And along with the productivity and effectiveness of your supervisors running that contact center. I think one of the targets that Alex really had hit home about is, you know, that targeted feedback for coaching agents and um, having the availability to have this product scale as your organization hires and continues to grow, which is great uh, in this day and age. You can also easily QA a call right from service. Now we showed you how you go directly from the call into the analytics, and then you can evaluate the call and, and conduct the coaching sessions. And I think last and the most important is obviously, you know, you're extending your investment that you've already made within service now, um, and it's going to make your organization better as a whole. So I know we have a couple use cases um, to, to share. So Alex, I'll let you go first with, with one that um, is pretty close to home for you. Yeah, absolutely. So I think a great one to speak to here is JK Moving and how they were able to increase revenue. And specifically what was happening is people were calling into JK Moving requesting boxes and there was a lack of an upsell opportunity here. And so because JK Moving at the time did not have 100% insight into the contact center, this was a totally missed opportunity. Essentially what they were able to do, implement, observe, understand where these gaps were, where there were missing sales opportunities and make concrete objective business changes as a result. So this was really important for them not only to do this, they were also able to improve metrics like first call resolution, get better insight into the voice of the customer via our sentiment analysis that leverages that machine learning and AI, and ultimately make sure that they were improving their contact center, that they were going to do something that uh, ultimately you know, made their business better. And one of the things I think that's really important to note here is how quickly they were able to implement. And that's exactly what they said in the quote that you see on the right. This is not something that is going to take months or even years to implement. We have very, very short implementation timelines, specifically so businesses can start to realize these gains um, and then this productivity right from the start. Great. And then what I'm going to share is, is pretty near and dear to my heart. So Ingalls Market was an extremely early adopter of 3C Logic, ServiceNow, and Observes Partnership. So they have a unique model um, within their organization where they're using ITSM for their corporate IT support, but they're also using um, CSM for their uh, store support. And one of the biggest factors of them looking at um, our solution as a whole was driving the ability to enable remote work, right? This was right in the height of the pandemic and they saw the need that they um, needed to fulfill right away. Uh, some of the great KPIs that came out of their first 90 days of implementation is they were able to increase their um, monitored customer calls by 66%. In those three short months that they had implemented uh, the solution, they also increased their agent performance scores by 3%, which is a lot for them. They were also able to streamline their compliance and quality assurance capabilities so they did find some broken processes that were in place that they never knew about until they were able to start listening to calls to figure out that there were still some holes and gaps. Um, they were able to effectively not only put processes in place, but also incorporate them into their QA process for, for future reference for their agents as well. And obviously, one of the great things that they love is they're obviously a continuing growing organization you know, they can scale this agent coaching process, which enables them to have better customer service for their external customers, um, utilizing, you know, AI and natural language processing. So with that, I think I will pass it back to Deanna for some Q&A. Yeah, so thank you so much, Rachel and Alex. Again, I think Alex, you summed it up really nicely of what's the point of having all this information and data if you can't act on it? Um, and that native integration with ServiceNow is just really seamless. Um, and so it makes it reasonable. It makes contact center managers' life just a whole lot easier to truly improve um, the contact center health. So with that, we're going to open the conversation up to some questions that folks have. I see a few are coming in. So while those questions come in, Rachel, actually, if you could hop over to the next slide, just going to share some of our contact information um, if anyone would like to learn more. 
So we've got both 3C Logic and Observe AI's emails. If you want to reach out to us directly, our websites are there as well. If you want to explore more about um, what these solutions can do for you. One question on here, can we export the call transcript quality data for analysis in Google Data Studio or Tableau? Is there an integration option or do we need to manually export database? Yep, happy to speak to that. So uh, when it comes to the transcripts, right, which are coming from Observe, we have a data out API where you're gonna be able to get all of those transcripts. Essentially, you call the API, it's gonna return all this raw data, all that data that we have on the calls that we are processing. And you can do whatever you'd like with that data. So we have a number of clients feeding that, let's say, back into a CRM. Others will be going the data analytics route. They want to route it through a Tableau, as was mentioned, a Power BI, Looker, something like that. So we make all that data available because we know clients are going to want to do additional things with this. We have plenty of clients doing this today. So it's absolutely something that we make available for everyone. Another question we have here, um, what business size is this best used for? Can this be implemented on a four-figure organization to support a customer? I can take that one, um, Deanna. It, it, for us, it doesn't matter. It could be you know, small SMBs to large scaling organizations. It, it really doesn't matter to us. The only thing that really matters is it, we can easily um, access the call recordings. So the great news about this is if you're a small organization and you're just starting out, certainly um, we can help you to, to get up and running relatively quickly. And then um, as you continue to grow and scale, the, the possibility is really endless with how many um, calls are coming in or how many customers you have. So it's a, it's a pretty seamless process no matter what size organization you are. Um, another question here, is this functionality an add-on or already included in the base product? I'm assuming that is uh, looking from a 3C Logic perspective. So this is an add-on product. Certainly, um, we can take a look at your current uh, model today. And um, Diane, if you want to get the person's information for that, mm -hmm. I can certainly take a follow-up to look into it and reach out to them directly to see, you know, what their current solution is and what they have from a 3C Logic perspective. Um, or if it's an observe customer, we can take a look and we can get back to them. Um, another question here, um, is 3C Logic compatible for ServiceNow on-premise customers? It is, we would have to take a further look about um, what their um, on-prem solution looks like, but there certainly are options to be able to integrate with an existing on-prem platform. So we can um, also talk about that offline. Um, the answer is yes, but we still need to look at um, the current infrastructure mm -hmm. and um, the ways that we can uh, integrate with it. Great. Another question here, where can I find a full list of integrations and partnerships available? I would say our website. Um, so yeah, if you're interested for 3C Logic, so 3clogic.com. Um, we do have a partners page where you can see some of the different organizations that we partner with, Observe AI being one of them. I'm not sure if you want to add anything on your side there, Alex. Yeah, same thing with us. Um, we, we have it on the website, I think, as far as all the different partners that we're in, it will integrate with from CCAS to, to data analytics to all these different things. So our website will contain that information just the same. Great. And then I have a question here about data security. Um, so the question is, can I check the voice interactions that are stored in 3C Logic Cloud and analyze there? Then via integration, they update the related case. In this case, how is 3C Logic maintaining the data security? Uh, that's a great question. So we have all the data security protocols into place today. Um, certainly we have all of the data security certificates. If um, an organization needs to look at them, we're obviously SOC 2 compliant, we're GDPR, DDRP. And um, besides all of our certifications, uh, I know Observe has a, a very long list of security <laughs> documents that they have as well. Happy to share those as well, but just know that from a security perspective, when we're integrating with a third party like Observe, data is secure in encrypted and at rest. So uh, we make sure that the data is always secure going in and out of the solution.
Yep, I just dropped a note on the chat on that as well. So yeah, when it comes to security, both 3C logic and observe, we're going to factor that in at every step, right? Whether that's um, yes, data in transit, whether that's data at rest, we're always going to make sure that data is encrypted. Uh, neither solution is going to allow for data to move at any point if it's not encrypted. Um, and we're really leveraging the latest and greatest when it comes to cloud technology as well to make sure that we can maintain that security. Great. We have a couple other questions in that same vein of security. Um, definitely an important topic. So um, one question is if we are HIPAA compliant. 3C Logic is HIPAA compliant. We are HIPAA ready. And for clients that are in that healthcare space or anyone that needs that, we are able to put a BAA in place. We can um, provide our own, or if you have one as the customer, we're happy to sign that as well. So we have plenty of clients that we work with in that space. So if we do just need to have that HIPAA instance, so to speak, we're happy to sign a BAA for that. And what SSO integrations are available is another question we have. Well, that's a great question. I know we have the SSO available with ServiceNow today. I will have to check on the others. So um, certainly I can get back on, on that one for the team. But um, currently today, I know 3C Logic does SSO for ServiceNow exclusively, but I can check on others that are available. And we don't have any that are native within the platform on day one out of the box. However, uh, we are able to integrate with like ADFS and Okta if that is the case. Um, so we would really just have to talk about what SSO is being used. And then from there, we'd be able to build out that integration. Another question we have is, does this technology depend on scripted conversations? I would say from the observed side, it doesn't depend on scripted conversations, but there are parts, there are scripts that can be used in order to understand what's happening on a call. So for instance, recorded line disclosure is a script, right? When you hear and you call into the contact center and someone uh, you know, a voice says that the call will be recorded or monitored. That is essentially a script. Or maybe you call um, into a sales organization and they try to sell you something and they're using different scripts there. Within Observe AI, what you're able to do is create these moments or points of interest in order to track these things. But it's by no means necessary. It's just one thing that is able to be captured with our platform. Just in the same way, you're able to create moments around why our customers calling or the sentiment of the customer, or what is the agent saying, all these different things. So it's something that we're able to leverage in the platform. It's something we can expand upon, especially depending on the use case, but by no means is it necessary in order to gain value from our solutions here. Great, and then another question I'm seeing here that I almost missed is how telephone services and virtual agents can be linked to capture tickets. So that's not really associated today with, with what we looked at. So that is something that we're um, in a future state with service now, happy to take that use case offline. That really, uh, I mean, obviously we can tie some of this with service now, but happy to look at that specific use case offline and, and discuss that further. Someone is just kind of curious how long uh, 3C Logic and Observe AI have been around. Just a little bit about the history of, of each organization. Yeah, Rachel, you want to start off? Yeah, we've been around for a <laughs> while. <laughs> obviously, uh, 3C Logic has been around 10 plus years. We obviously uh, are in the cloud call, uh, contact center space and certainly uh, our expertise is really in the service now CRM eco space, but that doesn't mean that we can't incorporate with other um, CRMs that are out there. We also work with the uh, sales forces of the world, the sugar CRMs and Microsoft Dynamics, but um, certainly uh, our whole being is to be able to integrate with a CRM solution to extend that third leg of the stool, so to speak, and help organizations to um, complement their existing digital channels today, right? Email and chat are great, but um, a lot of organizations forget that third piece, which is the voice piece, which we see and deem as the most important. Yeah, and then from the Observe AI perspective, we are a relatively young company. We've been around since 2017. So our CEO came from Twitter, who was a project lead there. Our other co-founders have been in the contact center space. So we are the true mix of tech, AI, and then the contact center experience as well. And us being a young company has really proved to be a major advantage in that we're able to pivot very quickly 
uh, move our roadmap as new features come on to it, and then also take advantage of the latest and greatest technology, right? So for example, us being able to be cloud native, very, very important with the way our company works, with us being able to process all these interactions. So we've only been around for four years, uh, but we have a very mature product because of what we've been able to leverage and learn from what's been done in the past. Um, one last question that we have on here um, is where are the data centers located for each organization? Yep, happy to speak to that first. Um, so we operate out of the United States, but when it comes to the other regions of the world, if we're talking about Europe or Asia, wherever it happens to be, we do have data centers there as well. But mainly it's going to be out of the U.S., customer by customer basis. We can make sure that infrastructure is local as needed. Same with 3C Logic. So obviously, um, we actually, uh, the data sits on AWS. So we can seemingly be located. Uh, we're obviously on five continents today, but um, certainly can help anywhere where your organization lies, whether it's in the U.S. or outside of the U.S., um, we can actually support the team. Um, and a follow-up question to that is, if the data centers are easily accessible and how accessible are they? I don't know if we're referring to the data centers or the data itself. Um, mm. I just probably answer it as the data itself. So um, we do make data very available. And I believe the same is going to be true for 3C Logic just by virtue of us being GDPR compliant, right? This is going to be a big part of that is uh, data availability. So if you say, hey, we need all the data for the last six months, we need data deleted, we need data made available to us, we're certainly going to do that. And um, Rachel, I think you can chime in, but I believe that's going to be the same answer on your end. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. And and just to note that, you know, most of the data that you'll see from us is centered around just the, the telephony side of things. So obviously your main attributes of, you know, all of your organization's data will still reside in service now from our perspective. We're just going to give you the call recordings, the transcription, and, and raw call data that you need to certainly run your call center. Perfect. Thank you both. Well, thank you everyone for a very lively Q&A session. Always really nice to have people's input in there. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Again, if you have further questions, definitely reach out to us. Really happy to have everyone joining us today. A really great, engaging audience. So appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. <laughs>